Hey everyone, so welcome to episode two, okay? So what we're going to cover in this section is, do you know what, I completely forgot. How to mark up a chart, <laughs> that's what we're going to cover. We're going to cover how to mark up a chart. Now, before I get into this video, please understand that this is going to be a little bit hard to, to kind of do. Because depending on the type of educator you're following, or depending on your type of trading style, it will depend how you mark up the chart. So to say this video is about marking up a chart is a, a, a bit blase. So, so I'm just gonna say, look, I'm gonna go through some basics. So how to draw lines, right? You know, how to use the sidebar of trading view so you can make, make it go up and down, you know? Um, how to draw squares and rectangles on your chart as well. So if you're trying to draw the lines of boxes or support and resistance. Um, but primarily, what you should be doing is finding one or two educators to follow, right? Now, if this is, again, this is part of the over 40 series. So I would suggest following for easy, easy strategies. Um, you can follow Kathy Kirkland on EC11, who, who is on the app or, or the website Vibrator, if you have the Elite Package, which you should have, right? So the Elite Package gives you access to Vibrator. The Elite Package also gives you access to DeLorean, okay? And there's a guy on there called, uh, I think, Timothy. Um, oh, no, no, it's called Tyrone, Tyrone. Uh, he's really good. He actually did, came onto the uh, 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 Mastermind Bootcamp. So he's really good as well. And that's a very, very four-step strategy as well. Um, or you can come on to the one o'clock uh, call with us where Siobhan and our own personal team, uh, Mastermind and Family and Forex has a very, very simple step uh, how, uh, process, how to use the harmonic scanner. And then there is me. So depending on who you follow and depending on who you listen to would depend on how you mark up your chart. But what I am going to do is I'm going to go for the basics. Okay, so I'm going to go for the basics of just how to draw lines, how to draw boxes. But primarily what you do want to do is follow one of those educators or one of the people that, you know, you trust to obviously follow to te teach you. It can be in Go Live or it can be a part of Mastermind. I don't really care. But however they mark up, that's what your markups should look like. Hopefully that makes sense. Because again, everyone's going to have their own trading style. With that being said, let's get over to the laptop. Awesome. Hey guys. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to now share my screen. So if I share my screen, bang and bang, you should now see my screen. Yes, it's the same day. I just changed my top. So it looks like a different day, but it's the same day. Okay. So, <laughs> all right, cool. So what we're going to do, uh, I just didn't want people getting confused with the clothes thinking it's the same video. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm actually going to go to a brand new chart that I haven't drawn anything on. So GPUSD, right? And the first thing we want to do is, first of all, please understand that again, when you have this trip, this section here, you can find any symbol that you're looking for. So let's say the harmonic scanner calls USD JPY. You just go to up here, up here, right? Where it says add symbol, type in USD JPY. And then the, the symbol will appear and you can click it there and then you will have it on your chart. So I'm just going to use GPB USD as my reference point today to show you some basic analysis. Um, now, before we go into the nitty gritty, please understand that you see these numbers here on the right hand side. If you stretch these, so you click and drag, what it does is it now makes your page or your charts or your candles long or short, long or short. So just get your, get it to a place where you like it, right? And then that's what pretty much where you want to go with. So let's just go over some basics, okay? First things first we're going to draw some lines. The reason I'm going to draw lines is because there's support and resistance. Now, I'm not here to educate you. I'm here to show you how to use TradingView. If you want to learn about support and resistance, go on to Go Live, go through the academy. They talk about support and resistance. I'm not here to teach you. I'm here to show you how to use TradingView. Okay? Awesome. So, if you want to get a, a horizontal line, I'm coming here to a horizontal array or horizontal line. Let's go horizontal line for now. Okay? And all we're going to do is we're just going to draw lines. Okay? Okay, so these are level are gonna be called levels of resistance. Um, I'm gonna make it thick, bang, I'm gonna make it black, bang, and I'm gonna call it levels uh, of resistance. Again, this is not a training, I promise you, it's just so that you can just see it. Okay, bang. 
So this is levels of resistance, okay? And then all we're gonna do is just draw another line. So we take horizontal, horizontal line here, and we're gonna do another line, okay? Okay? And as you can see here, now we have levels of resistance in the market, okay? Now we have a zone that's been created because we've got levels of resistance in the market, okay? We'll draw another line up above here, okay? So the, another way in which you can draw lines, instead of going to over the way over here, and clicking a uh, horizontal line and then clicking here, you can actually press Alt H or you can press Option H, okay, if you have a Mac, okay? So, so now what we're gonna do, this gonna, that's how you draw lines and that's how you kind of mark up your chart. Very, very basic. Now, other things you might wanna do or you might see educators do is they draw boxes. What you wanna do, you wanna go to the fourth icon down, one, two, three, and four, and then you want to go to rectangle. And all you want to do is just, you know, if you want to draw a rectangle, just click and drag. Okay. Okay. And if you want to draw a rectangle, just click and drag. Okay. So sometimes people use lines, some people too, people use rectangles. It's totally up to you. Okay. So trading is really not a complicate. Again, it's very hard to give you a trading strategy because again, I don't want to direct you in any particular way. I would highly suggest that if you are looking to learn about DeLorean, that you follow a guy called Tyrone on the DeLorean section, you need to have an elite package or at least have DeLorean as an add-on to have access to this. Um, same for Vibretta. Um, and so there's a lady on there called Kathy Kirkland who is really, really good and she trades a simple strategy on there as well. Um, if you want to learn more about harmonics, you can follow Manny Kionis on the harmonics section or follow myself or Siobhan Reed from Mastermind. We also have our own strategies using the harmonic scanner as well. Okay, but well, I just wanted to show you guys obviously how to obviously make your chart up and down, go up and down. I wanted to just show you how to draw a few lines on your chart. I wanted to show you, you know, how to, um, you know, draw boxes. And then if we go into a little bit more detail, um, this uh, this uh ruler here called measure. If you click that and then drag. This number here is basically showing you how many pips this move was, okay? So this, in this case, this was 180 pips, okay? Um, so if you see people refer to pips, but you can't work it out, just go to the ruler and click and drag. And that's 190 pips, okay? Um, what else can I show you? Okay, or if you wanna write text on your, on your chart, because you know you wanna take notes, then you can just click on the text icon, click on the chart, say, whatever you want to say, okay? And then press okay, and it's gonna be in a chart and you can move it also, okay? What you also can do, and again, this is a bit advanced, so you know, you don't have to do this now, but short and long positions. So long positions are when you're going for a buy, short positions are when you're going for a sell. So if I was going for a sell from here, for example, it would draw this diagram, okay? Okay, so if it draws this diagram, all this, all this diagram means is that, look, this is your risk to reward. So let's say, for example, we wanted a fair pip stop loss, we would click and drag the red section down. Okay, so it had 30 pips. So let's keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, boom. And you see here, it says 30. Okay, that's, so that means you have, now you can see on your chart, you have a 30 pip stop loss. Let's say, for example, we thought price was gonna go all the way down to here. Now you have a, what's that, 235 pip TP. And you can just leave this on your chart to basically kind of just give yourself a visualization of what your risk to reward ratio is. You know, just in case you're trying to show someone what you know, what your risk to reward was. And if also give, and by doing this, by also doing this, you also get access, you also get the ability, it gives you automatically gives you the, 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 the numbers. So if I zoom in, let's do it again, you can see, that it's told you that this stop loss area right here is uh, 328, 35. Okay, 328, 35. So now that would be your stop loss. And what I'm gonna do on the next video is show you how to go from this onto MetaTrader 4 and actually take a trade, okay? Okay, but this video is primarily just on how to mark up using TradingView, okay? With that being said, Take care. God bless. See you in the next video. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. All right. In a bit, guys.